class, um, Miss Green here. I wanted to record a quick video to give you guys a um, introduction or an overview to the R and R journal. I usually get a lot of questions at the beginning of the course as to how um, the journal should be set up and how it should be submitted. So I'm going to go over that with you guys just in case the instructions on the document aren't clear. So what I'm going to do is share my screen here to um, my Blackboard. So mine will look a little bit different than yours just because mine is looking from an instructor standpoint. But overall, um, it should be pretty close to the same. So I'm in our course now and I'm going to Paper and journals. And I'm clicking on the reaction in the reflection journal or the R&R journal. So you'll see the R&R journal here. This will have um, the purpose, the process, information for setting it up, and then the links where you will submit your journal each week. So there'll be eight links there. So you'll click this link up here that says reaction and reflection journal. And it will take you to the Google Doc. So the same information that is on the instruction page in Blackboard is here for the first two pages where you have your purpose, your process, um, information for grading. Now, one thing that is very important to note for this is a lot of the questions in the R and R journal will ask you for your opinion and what you think. Um, I ask a lot of these opinion questions in the R and R journal because I'm the only one that reads it. So people are often more open to giving their true opinion and to really explaining that. Now, what is very important here is that I do not have to agree with your opinions. Your opinions are your opinions. I will not be grading you on your opinion. I can't do that, right? Because you think what you think. Um, what I will be grading you on is your effort, your thoughtfulness, completion, and making connections with the material. Um, you wanna make personal connections. You wanna make connections between the past and the present. Um, and so, when you write about your opinions, what you need to do is basically just use facts from the course to back those up. Now the facts have to be correct, but I don't have to agree with your opinion, okay? So that's very important to note. All right, so um, scrolling down, you have the prompts here for week one, week two, week three, and so on. Another easy way to get to them is to use this little um, guide over here. And you can click week one, week two, week three, so on. All right, so going back to the top, what you're going to do to set up your specific R and R journal is go to file, oops, file, make a copy, and you'll do, Last name, comma, first, and you'll hit OK. So now you will have your own copy of the Google Doc in your, um, in your Google. You can X out of the one that I had in the course. You've got your Google Doc here. It's the exact same thing, but notice that it's copied and it's got last name comma first, it's yours. So now what you're going to do each week after you do the discussions and the readings, you'll come here and you will answer all of the questions. So um, one, two, three, answer that. Week two, one, two, three, answer that. You'll wanna do about a page per entry. All right, so once you finish each week's entry, you'll come over here to share. Now here it says private only to me, and this is what you're gonna do. This is gonna be very important. 
when you click share, you need to come down here to the bottom where it says change to anyone with the link. So you'll click that. And now when you submit this link, I can look at the Google Doc and I will be the only person besides you that will be able to look at the Google Doc. So anyone with the link, that's what you want. So then after you answer week one, you'll hit copy link. Come back to your Blackboard course. And to submit week one journal, you'll go here and simply in either the text submission or in the comments, copy and paste that link and hit submit. And then your journal for week one is submitted. You'll do the same um, submission process for week two and week three. And all of your um, responses will be on this one Google Doc. The reason why um, I chose a Google Doc is because you can access it from anywhere any device wherever you're at, as long as you can get into your Google account and I can make comments directly on this. So make sure that, um, that when you have this set up that anyone can comment on it or anyone with the link can comment on it. I may also ask for permission to comment from my personal Gmail account and you'll get an email asking that if I need it. Um, so I'll comment on this weekly ask you questions and assign your grade, but each week you will submit the link for your Google Doc. Now, if um, your Google Doc is giving you a lot of problems or if you, for some reason, are really against having a Google account, um, email me and we can work something out. I've had people in the past copy this into a Word document and just respond or submit their Word document each week. Um, so we can figure something out if we need to. But that will be, let me stop sharing my screen. Okay, so that is the R&R &R journal. Um, important things, make sure that you make a copy and that you save that copy with your name, um, that you submit it each week and that anyone that has the link can access your journal. And then note that I'm asking you a lot of personal opinionated questions. So know that I'm the only one that can read that unless you give someone else access and that I am not grading you on your opinion, but I am grading you on how well you back your opinion up with information from the discussions and from the class. So that's what I need. I need you to defend your opinion and make those personal connections. Um, and that's all that I have for the R&R &R journal. I look forward to reading them. Um, it's one of my favorite parts of the course because I feel like I really get to know you guys and know what you think. But if you have any questions while you're setting it up or while you're working with anything else in the course, send me a message through Blackboard, send me an email, um, get in touch with me because I am here to help you guys succeed. So I look forward to working with you over the next eight weeks and um, that'll be it. All right, bye.